It's Open Line Friday, Rush Limbaugh, and we'll get to your phone calls here in just a second. A couple of more sound bites first. This is uh, yesterday, late in the afternoon, on CNN. Uh, Brooke Baldwin, who happens to be Chuck Barkley's favorite info babe at CNN. You know how I know that? It's because she is the one who gets all the interviews with Chuck. Yep. So that's, I'm assuming, that, that, that Charles Barkley... Favorite info babe is Brooke Baldwin, CNN. So yesterday afternoon, she's talking with uh, presidential historian Douglas Brinkley. There's nothing to do with Barkley. I'm just identifying who she is for you here. And she's quoting me and asking him a question. And she can't believe that she's quoting me. So she says it twice as, as because obviously she thinks her audience will, will be appalled. That, that she's quoting me. So here's, here's a, it just real fast here, 17 seconds. Let me quote here, Rush Limbaugh. Let me quote Rush Limbaugh, and this is what uh, he said. This is what he said after the, the Cuba announcement. It's, quote, just the beginning. This is just a teaser, an appetizer for what is on tap the next two years. What else might we see? I wonder, did they have to give her a bonus for reading that off the prompter? Because it's clear that Brooke Baldwin didn't really want to have to quote me there. Let me quote here Rush Limbaugh. Let me quote Rush Limbaugh. And this is what he said. This? I'm not quoting Rush Limbaugh here. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> and then listen to what Rush Limbaugh said after the Cuban. And then they quote me. It's perfectly reasonable. Just the beginning. This is just a teaser, an appetizer for what's on tap the next two years. What else might we see? Doug Brinkley with the answer. A rejection of the Keystone Pipeline. He'll may become an environmental hero for doing it because it's one of the big issues of our time. Traveling, cutting deals with China. He is going to be also an executive power president, signing things, big national monuments in the West. You're going to see his environmental record both with climate and here at home um, be really upgraded on a, its list of priorities. Sounds like Brinkley already knows what Obama is going to do. And I mean, Brinkley's an historian. Presidential historian deals with what presidents do after the fact, but he knows what Obama is going to do. Now, she presents this quote of mine, and Doug Brinkley didn't think it's odd. He was eager. He couldn't wait to answer that question. He couldn't wait to react to that. Oh, yeah, man, like Obama is going to reject the Keystone Pipeline. Yeah, man, and he's going to become an environmental hero for doing it because it's one of the big issues of our time. Traveling could have cut deal with China. By the way, the latest is that the chai assisted the Norks in the hack of Sony. Yes, sir, Bob. So Doug Brinkley, apparently these next two years, in addition to whatever else, Obama is just going to wreck the energy industry while he make well, that's what's going to happen if, if, if Obama's energy agenda wrecks the existing energy industry in this country. So if Obama's going to implement his energy ideas by definition, that's why Brinkley's so excited here. Oh, yeah, man, Keystone Pipeline. Yeah, man, we're going to keep oil out of this country. Yeah, man, we're going to make sure it doesn't get here and pollute. Yeah, and that's just the beginning, man. And then he's going to use executive power. He's going to do real like, national monuments in the West, Brooke. Oh, it's going to be so cool. National monuments in the West. Of what? Him? Put himself up at Mount Rushmore? Maybe change the name from Mount Rushmore because it has my name in it. We can't have that. Mount Obama. And then find somebody to engrave his likeness. What national monuments here are we talking about? His environmental record, both with climate and here at home, really upgraded on his list of priorities.